This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Give it up for the notification squad. These were the first three comments in my last video. If you want a chance to be featured, make sure you hit that notification bell and come show your girl some love when I drop a new video. And here's today's featured comment. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back. So today's video is super exciting for me. I am so excited to bring this to you guys. I will be hosting a giveaway and this giveaway is sponsored by Kiara Sky. They are giving away a $500 gift card to their website. You can choose between the Kiara Sky website where you can get gel polish or dip powders or you can head over to Glam and Glitz where you can get acrylic powder, all pretty colors of acrylic, your monomer, everything you need to do acrylic nails. The rules for this giveaway are very simple. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, of course. Subscribe to Kiara Sky Nails YouTube channel. Follow Glam and Glitz on Instagram and follow me on Instagram at Lawn Hair Pretty Nails and we will be checking so make sure y'all follow the rules and then just comment on this video when you're done and the giveaway is going to be open worldwide and it closes september 15th so good luck all right so for this nail design i couldn't decide what colors i wanted to use i have four of these color acrylics from glam and glitz and i'm just going to test these out to see which ones i like so I've already prepped my nails. I had some poly gel nails on before. I was too lazy to soak them off, so I just filed them down very thinly. I did my uh, prepping, pushing back the cuticles and all that stuff, so. I am just gonna pour up my Glam and Glitz monomer. And if you guys wanna know where I got this crystal dampen dish from, I will link it down below. So this first color here is called Bare White. And I used this before in one of the glow videos and um, it's really pretty. This one here is called Dark Ivory. This one here is Medium Blush and it's more of a pink cover nude. And this one here is called Light Blush and it is the same color just a little bit lighter <laughs> so these are the colors side by side and i am going to go with the dark ivory i like how this one looks so for these nails i am going to use nail forms and these are double thick competitive edge nail forms um and because i'm not really going super long i decided to use these and i really like them so i'm just gonna go ahead and put these on all of my fingers So once I have those on, I'm going to go in with the dehydrator. I use the Gelish pH Bond and I'll have links to everything that I use down below. So after that, I'm going to go in with the Harmony Pro Bond and this is a acid free primer. And I'm just gonna go right in with that dark ivory acrylic. And I place my first bead where the natural nail and my nail form meets. And that is where I'm gonna form the tip first. So I like to work in layers. As some of you guys know, I don't have a set one ball, three ball method. I do as many beads of acrylic as it takes for me to form the nail. And when I'm doing the tip first, I just like to do um, a thin, layer for the tip just to kind of give me a guide and when I'm forming the nail so the tip part is a bit thin but I am going to build that up so the second bead I put slightly behind the first and I just kind of pat that in place so I am working with the Valentino number no. 10 Kalinske brush. It is a bit bigger than what I'm used to. I usually work with a size eight brush, but I am trying to improve and get better. So I decided to use a bigger brush. So yeah, it kind of just takes some getting used to, but it's not that bad. And I just slowly work my way back towards the cuticle area and also building the nail at the same time. 
what I love about the bigger brushes though is that you get to really mold the acrylic and pull it and really work with it longer. It seems like with the smaller brushes, the acrylic dries faster um, and you're not able to really pull and mold those beads as long as you want to. Um, so that's what I like about this size 10 brush. So after I have the nail formed the way that I like, I'm just gonna go ahead and let that set and I move on to the next nail. And I'm pretty much going to repeat this for all of the nails. I'm so excited that Kiara Sky wanted to do this giveaway with me. This is one of the biggest giveaways that I've hosted on this channel and it is just so amazing. Um, so like all these Kiara Sky and Glam and Glitz products that I use, you can definitely have a chance to win them in this giveaway. So make sure you go ahead and enter. Glam and Glitz acrylic is really easy to work with. There is one color that I had some trouble with, which was the bare white. It was just a bit, you know, chalky for my liking, but all the other colors that I've tried are very smooth. And as you can see, um, this one blends in very well. You cannot tell where one bead starts and where the other bead ends. Um, it all kind of just melts together. And that is what I love. Not to mention they have every color that you can ever imagine for either dip powders or acrylic powder. All right, so this is after forming all of the nails and letting the acrylic dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take off these nail forms. And I'm going to do my shaping and filing. I get lots of questions about my nail dust collector. This is a Valentino nail dust collector. It is a bit pricey, I know, but this is like one of my holy grail nail items. Um, but I will leave a link down below if you guys are interested. I start off with the hand file on the 100 grit side and I'm just going to do the sides and tip and also smooth over the surface of the nail. So after I'm done filing with the nail file, I go in with my nail drill and this is a medium grit safety bit and I like to work this around the cuticle area to make that nice and flush. So I will be doing some gel polish for this design and I have a new nail lamp and this one is from Kiara Sky and I have been wanting this lamp for a while and it is just everything that I dreamed that it would be. 
um i actually thought it was going to be huge but i am glad that it is you know smaller than what i thought it was going to be um so this is everything that comes in the box ah this is so gorgeous <laughs> <laughs> so this is the bottom plate I'm just gonna peel off the film and it is removable um, like if you're doing toes or whatever you can take it off but I'm gonna go ahead and slide it in there and inside of this box is the power cord and I'm just gonna plug it in here if I can figure it out <laughs> So all of the controls are on the back of the lamp. So I'm just gonna flick on the power switch. And as you guys can see, the screen comes on. It's set to 15 seconds. It does have a 15, 30, 60, and a 90 second low setting. So I always do 60 seconds. So I'm just gonna press that button. Um, and this lamp is also rechargeable. So you can charge it up and you don't have to keep it plugged in. And as you guys can see, it also has a sensor where you put your hand in and the light comes on. So these are my nails after I have filed, shaped, and buffed. And I'm going to go in with the Kiara Sky Gel Polish. And this is the color Silhouette. And I'm going to apply a nice thin coat to all of my nails. making sure to clean around the cuticle area before I care. And I'm going to care in my Kiara Sky nail lamp for 60 seconds. This thing is so beautiful, like, oh my God, I'm so happy I got this. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a second coat of the gel polish. And of course, cure for 60 seconds. All right, so this is what the nails are looking like after the final cure. And I'm just gonna use some alcohol to wipe off the tacky layer. So for my nail design, I'm gonna use these gel polishes from Madame Glam. And I'm doing a Burberry inspired nail design. So I'm just gonna start off with the white line here. And these nail art brushes I got from AliExpress. I'll be sure to link those down below as well. But these are some of my favorite nail art brushes. I don't really do that much hand-drawn art um, because it is hard. <laughs> but um, I am trying to do it more and get better. These nail art brushes do make the hand-drawn art a bit easier to do. Um, so I definitely recommend these. I have these in all of the sizes. So after I finished that white little cross here, I cured that in my nail lamp just because I didn't want that to move. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go in with my black lines. I do a lot of drawing the line and cleaning it up if it's not what I want. So it takes a long time for me to do my hand drawn art. So after getting those lines right, I went ahead and cured that. And now I'm going to do the skinnier, thinner lines in the center of the two black lines. I feel like I'm saying lines a lot. <laughs> All right, so after that is done, I went ahead and repeat that for my index fingernail and cured. And now I'm going to do the red lines.
and I went ahead and cured that and I decided I wanted to add a little more design element to these nails so I'm just gonna add a tiny red heart on my middle fingernail making sure to clean the tip of the heart up just so it's nice and crisp and I went ahead and cured that in the nail lamp for 60 seconds. So finally I'm going to go in with the Kiara Sky Velvet Matte Gel Top Coat. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do a glossy look for this or if I wanted a matte look and I ultimately decided to do matte because I just think it would look so much better. So. I'm using my favorite matte top coat. I like this top coat because it doesn't leave the nails looking dry and ashy looking, but it gives it like a soft matte look, if that makes sense. So I went ahead and did my final cure for 60 seconds. I just love this matte finish. I didn't have to wipe the nails or anything. This is straight out of the lamp. So finally, I'm going to apply the Kiara Sky Nourishing Oil. And here is the finished look. I am in love with these nails, you guys. Like, I really impressed myself with the line work. One of my goals was to not have squiggly lines, so I think I did it. And yes, I had to do the Burberry shoes, okay? <laughs> my hubby was so nice enough to give me these shoes, so thank you, hubby. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to start nails, but nail products can be a bit pricey. This is an awesome opportunity for one lucky winner. Definitely enter the giveaway. Kiara Sky is sponsoring a $500 giveaway on either of their websites. You get to choose between the KiaraSky.com or the Glam and Glitz website. This giveaway is open worldwide and will close on September 15th. So good luck to everybody and I want to give a huge thank you to Kiara Sky for doing this giveaway. This is the outro to the long hair pretty nail show, yeah.